Hi there folks, today we'll be looking at the Solar MPPT Solar Charge Controller. We are specifically looking at the STMP series, which is 60 amperes. And there wouldn't be an unboxing today because this unit has actually been deployed. And we're just going to have a look at the insides to confirm that it actually is MPPT. And probably also show you what a real MPPT looks like. Alright, so now let's move on to the opening of the unit. As you can see, the terminal cover has already been removed because we have already just taken it off from our solar system. Now before we go any further, we will notice that there are a number of supported connections, especially here where you see TEMP and the RS485 ABG. So it's supposed to be able to support a TEMP sensor and this RS485 terminal to be able to do data logging, but that's quite simply not the case here because well, firstly, SOA doesn't sell the relevant hardware to do all of that and they don't even have the software to be able to data lock and as you can see, the temp sensor port has already been pushed in slightly so I'm not sure if this was damaged in transit or whether it was just poor workmanship and it somehow passed QC well, most likely the second one because the unit came in a pretty with a pretty thick padding to support and make sure or to minimize the shipping damages that could occur. So now that we're done with the screws, we're gonna see if there are any other screws that we need to take off. Okay, there are four more screws on the top. As usual, we want to be careful because the screen's installed on the front and there are definitely some cables here. So, quite evidently, we already see the coil inductors or transformers and they're pretty beefy as well if you look at it from the top down. And of course, the usual upsized capacitors that's actually a lot of hardware going in there we also have the 40 rated fuses I'm not sure why these two are so closely together might be a bit of a <laughs> weird way of doing things or they sort of bent something there but okay so, right off the bat, since we already have the inductors, we know that this actually is capable of MPPT, as advertised. And 
I don't think we're gonna go further than that because it's just a piece of well, circuit board and I guess everything else is on the bottom that's probably not really going to be important let's have a look at the terminals that this thing supports the official supported uh, gauge for this MPPT is 16mm2 which I believe is 6 gauge or is it 8 gauge? I have to check on that but it's 16mm2 and while some of you might say that well since it's a 60 amps MPPT wouldn't you need a 4 gauge to efficiently do that? Um, I would say that we have tried a 4 gauge cable or a 25mm2 and it does work, it's just that since it's not officially supported, we are not going to take that risk and since this unit is reasonably close to our batteries, so the length of that really, I don't think it's really going to make a difference with how much amps it's going to be able to carry. Alright there folks, um, thanks for watching, see you next time.